Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another Optimize Plus One. In our last Plus One, we talked about the fact that we need to train our recovery the same way we train our deep work. We want to create nice rhythmic waves in our lives and prioritize rest. One great way to do that, deep play. I briefly mentioned the fact that, as Alex Pang tells us in his great book, Rest, when we look closely at the routines of some of history's greatest, most creative, and most prolific creators, what we find is that they don't actually work that much. Here's how he puts it. Quote, figures as different as Charles Dickens and Ingmar Bergman working in disparate fields in different times all shared a passion for their work, a terrific ambition to succeed, and an almost superhuman capacity to focus. Yet, when you look closely at their daily lives, they only spent a few hours a day doing what we would recognize as their most important work. The rest of the time, they were hiking mountains, taking naps, going on walks with friends, or just sitting and thinking. Their creativity and productivity, in other words, were not the results of endless hours of toil. Their towering creative achievements result from modest working hours. He continues by saying, if some of history's greatest figures didn't put in immensely long hours, maybe the key to unlocking the secret of their creativity lies in understanding not just how they labored, but how they rusted and how the two relate, end quote. That again is from a chapter he calls four hours. As in, the greatest creators tend to work about four hours a day. But they put first things first and they go deep, then they recover. The four hour work day. That would be an awesome book. By the way, for those paying close attention, you may recall that we actually had a very similar plus one not too long ago featuring wisdom from Anders Ericsson and Tony Schwartz. We called that one the 4.5 hour workday. Check it out. Now, I love how we come back to the same wisdom again and again and again. As Tony Robbins says, repetition is the mother of skill. Or in our case, repetition is the mother of wise optimizing. One more little parenthetical aside, I'm reminded of a recent philosophical ping pong chat I had with Cal Newport. We talked about the fact that all great traditions come back to the same themes. And I remarked that optimizing by integrating ancient wisdom, modern science, and practical tools like we do is kind of like looking at all the facets of a gem from different angles so you can appreciate its full beauty. One more little facet of uh, today's gem, then we'll get back to our four-hour workday. We've talked a lot about Scott Adams and Stephen King. Alex talks about their daily rhythms and tells us this, quote, Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert, works about four hours a day on the strip and other writing. As he points out, my value is based on my best ideas in any given day, not the number of hours I work. Stephen King describes four to six hours of reading and writing as a strenuous day. So there you go. Get clear on what matters. Go deep, daily, accrete value in your most important work, recover, deeply, repeat. That's today's plus one. Now, go enjoy your four-hour workday.